Hi everyone, Paul from Ultimate Fat Burner, Smart About Supplements here, and today I'm talking about whey protein and specifically whether whey protein lowers testosterone. I'll have the answer for you in just a moment. Stick around. Please don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back. So let's get right to the question, which is, does whey protein lower testosterone? And on the face of it, this seems like kind of an odd question, especially when you consider that just about everyone on the planet recommends whey protein for hardcore athletics, for bodybuilding, for weightlifting, for powerlifting, and for generally any type of activity where you're really trying to maximize testosterone levels to enhance muscle growth. So where does this question even come from and why are we even asking it? Well, the question comes from the results of a couple of clinical studies. These studies found that when a whey protein shake was consumed after a workout, it either blunted the anabolic effects of exercise or it lowered testosterone levels directly. So let me back up and explain this just a little bit. Exercise has been proven to elevate levels of testosterone and growth hormone. So after a workout, you'd expect those levels to be elevated. However, these studies showed the opposite. One seemed to show that consuming whey protein negated the testosterone boosting effects of exercise, and another showed it actually lowered it. So what does this all mean? Does it mean you have to throw out your whey protein before you start watching chick flicks and painting your toenails? Absolutely not. Why? Well, there are four reasons why I wouldn't lose any sleep about these two clinical studies. Number one, one of the studies in question was performed on men 57 to 72 years old, which means the results may not be applicable to younger people or highly trained athletes. Number two, the second study in question found that despite a decrease in testosterone, there was no corresponding decrease in luteinizing hormone, which suggests the participants weren't actually making less testosterone, they were just clearing it more efficiently. Number three, other studies that have tracked whey protein consumption and hormone responses did not find a decline in testosterone levels, and some have even found the opposite, an increase in testosterone levels. Number four, numerous studies support whey protein's effects on maximizing lean body mass. Since we know that the suppression of testosterone negatively affects the body's ability to adapt to strength training, it seems highly unlikely that whey protein could deliver the results it does if it was so effective at lowering testosterone levels. So no worries, panic over. You can continue to take your whey protein now that you know the truth about whether whey protein lowers testosterone. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check in the description under the video for links to supporting clinical studies. I include these so you can check my work and do a little more research if you like. I think it's important you know I'm not making this stuff up as I go along. If you have a question or a comment, please do leave it below and I will get to it as soon as I am able. If you like this video, a thumbs up or a share would be awesome. If you hated it, thumb it down. I want to know what you think, good or bad. If you want to be updated whenever we post new videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again and I'll see you really soon.